I know a lot of people out there are still having problems with their Pixel 6 and battery drain and mobile standby time. I think I might have found one of the major culprits that's causing people issues and I was surprised. I actually made an entire video yesterday about the battery drain and the standby time and all that good stuff. Talking about it because it's problematic. And then I decided, let me go ahead. I'm not going to push that video out. I want to do one more test and see if I can isolate this even further because I had a hunch. And that hunch may be right. And I think what it is, when it comes down to what's actually draining a lot of the battery on your phone. See, I charged this to 100% last night. It's been off the charger for like 22 hours. So in the last 24 hours, we'll take a look at the battery statistics right here. We're looking at mobile network 36%. And that might look like a staggering, frightening number, but then you also have to understand something. There's no mobile network symbol up there. I don't have a SIM card in this phone right now, and I wanted to see if there was something up with this. So even without having a SIM card in here, it shouldn't be looking for a signal. If you pull it down, you look at the connections, there's nothing there because there's no SIM card. So the modem isn't actually really looking for anything. I think that there may be something in the background that's causing that, but what we have to look at also Overall, I have 93% battery left. And it was 94 before I turned it on and started looking at the stuff for the last 10 minutes. So 6% battery drain in a 22-hour period approximately. No SIM card in it, only on Wi-Fi. Here's what I did. I turned off the ambient display. Ambient display is the always-on display. And apparently, it eats up a lot of battery. And that was what I think was most surprising to me. I forgot I had it on. I messed with the phone. I looked at it because I tested it the day before. So I charged it to 100% took it off the charger, and I came back 24 hours later, and I was down 26% battery. 26% battery, no SIM card in it, only use Wi-Fi whenever apparently it connected to it. I didn't touch the phone. I did not touch the phone one time, 26% battery drain in 24 hours. That's really bad, and I think the main culprit is the ambient display. So if you go into your settings, and you can do this by just in your settings, you can pull it down, search, just type in ambient, A M B I. The lock screen display right there and right here, lock screen. So the lock screen display, this is where your always on display is. And right here where you go to always show time and info. If you turn that off, that should tremendously help out with your battery drain and standby time. Because what's happening when you have the always on display on, you have this lock screen display. Here's what happens. And I'm going to have to say this is always on. And apparently when this is always on, it's using a lot more battery than when it's off. I thought that, okay, it's really very minimal information that's up there. It's kind of monochrome. There's not really a whole lot of brightness, not really a whole lot of color, not really a whole lot of stuff going on. But that was the only difference. I tested it with the lock display, with the ambient display on. 26% battery drain in 24 hours. I turned it off. It lost 6%. So for people who are saying that the cell standby time, I, I get that. It looks like a staggering number. But I don't think that that's actually being reported properly. And I don't think that's actually the main culprit. Maybe it is. I know some people have said they've experienced 50% and 60%. And you have to look at the hard numbers, though. Are you looking at the overall battery life and the overall screen on time and the overall time off the charger and what kind of behavior you had with the phone and the battery? Or are you just looking at that first number and jumping to a conclusion and you think that that's what the problem is when really it might not be the problem? So... I would encourage you, if you're having that problem, I've already made a video before. It's right here. You can click on it about how to save battery life on the Pixel 6 phone. But also go a step further. Turn off that lock screen display, ambient display, always on display, whatever you want to call it. Those are the three names that are used interchangeably for it. Turn that off. If you've got it on, turn it off and see if you get better results. If you have it off and you're still experiencing bad results, I would challenge you go look in your battery settings and look. See what else other than that standby time. Because here's the thing, it said in 24 hours time, it said that it used, let me pull this back up again. In 24 hours, it told me that it used all that much battery life. It didn't actually use that much battery life. I only lost 6% in 24 hours. So how is 6% in around 22, 24 hours, how is it telling me that I've got 36% mobile network when there's no SIM card in it? That makes no sense. And if it used 36%, Where'd the rest of the battery life go? Now, I, that's probably 36% of the 6% that was used. But still, I think the major culprit is other issues. So that may be a red herring. That may be something that's sitting there that looks like that's the problem, and it may not necessarily be it. So 
I would say try that out. Look at your stuff. Look at your lock display. You're always on display, whatever you want to call it. Turn that off if you've got that on and see if you get any major improvement in your battery life because that, I think, is what's killing a lot of people's standby time. If that can kill 20% of your standby time in one 24-hour period, that could make up for a lot of lost battery that you might be otherwise being able to use during the day. So check that out. Also, go through your other settings. Turn off background tasks in the background. Maybe turn on adaptive brightness if you like to use that or turn the brightness down just on your own. Put it at 50%, put it at 40%, put it at 60%. Don't have it at 100% all the time. Put it on dark mode. Have your screen time out after 30 seconds. Don't have it on a minute, two minutes, five minutes. Anytime the screen is on, it's burning up more battery. And that is also equally true whenever it's displaying data on the screen when you're not using it. So I think that that might be one of the culprits. I could be wrong. This is just a little test I did at home. I tested it over two days and we're talking about 20% battery differential and that was the only difference. The only thing I changed, I turned off that lock display and bam, went from 26% battery life used to 6% battery life used. So I think this could be helpful. This may be a trick or a tip that helps get your battery right a little bit better and it extends your battery life. Because I average about six hours of screen on time with mine. Even though I keep the lock display on, I always like having that. I like to be able to look over at the screen at a glance and see what's going on. So maybe it might add a little extra time on there. Because I know some people say they don't have great battery life with this phone. I hear that about all phones. I have people that tell me they get bad battery life with the iPhone. I have people that tell me they get bad battery life with the S22 Ultra, the Fold 3. And I mean, really, I do get bad battery life with that one. But <laughs> maybe there's something to that. However, everybody's individual usage is different. Everybody's networks are different. Whenever you're out in different areas, if you're connected to millimeter wave, if you're using C-band, if you're using... 5G extended network. If we're, There's lots of different factors that require the modem and the phone to use more power to produce a signal and to connect and to do all the data transmission stuff. If you're using GPS, it burns it up faster. If you play games, it burns it up faster. If you sit there with the screen on all the time, it burns it up faster. So number one motto, look at the screen. The screen on time is a really good indicator of what kind of actual usage on battery life you're getting. If you're just sitting there watching it drain down and you can't find out what the culprit is, go to your battery, go to the usage settings and try and track that down. Do some investigative work, be the Sherlock Holmes of your phone and see if you can try and figure that stuff out. But I think that this might be one of the things that's draining people's battery pretty harshly. Just my two cents. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please go down to the comment section. I'll get back with you. I'd love to hear from you and see what your thoughts are. See what your kind of own battery experiments are when it comes to your phone. Because I know that's a big one, a big frustration when it comes to this phone for people. If you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful, if you like the Pixel content, then you're in the right place. I make a lot of videos, usually about 40 a month, every day, sometimes two a day. You never know what you get here, but I'm always covering different tech products and the Google Pixel phones are one of them. So if you like that stuff, hit the like, the subscribe button, and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.